mag-pandemic, nakakaalarma na ang kalagayan ng edukasyon sa Pilipinas. The Philippines performed poorly in academic metrics and has been ranked consistently at or near the bottom. Ibig sabihin nito, lalo pang nahihirapan ang ating mga mag-aaral. Come the pandemic, what was already a difficult situation has just become much harder. Muli, ako si Fatima at andito tayo ngayon upang alamin kung ano ang mga ginagawa ng fair play upang matugunan ang patuloy na lumalawak na agwat sa gitna ng sitwasyon ng edukasyon sa Pilipinas. Sa nakaraang episode, nalaman natin kabilang sa mga hamon na hinaharap ng ating mga estudyante ay ang kakulangan sa access sa mga resources gaya ng internet, gadget, at gabay ng isang mentor o adult. And this is where Fair Play comes in. Hi, I'm Zargi and I'm the Youth Center Interim Manager. Um, some of the high school students, Fair Play scholars, I asked them, what did you learn last year? What can you remember from your lessons in school last year? And they actually, they looked at me, they, they looked at me and they laughed. And then they said, well, Wala masyado. Who can blame them? At Fair Play, we aim to help build that support system through our four areas of support. Academic support, financial incentives, social support, and mental health. And as an organization, we are thankful also for the support we receive from partners like Thinking of Eve that allow us to continue this mentoring program in Payatas. I cannot emphasize enough the importance of support. Research has shown again and again and again that a strong and positive support system is essential. At the heart of our program are our interns and youth leaders from the ranks of the Fair Play Scholars. They are hired and trained to become the caring and supportive mentors to the next generation of Fair Play Scholars. At the end of the day, in the context of kids' education in one of the world's longest lockdown, whether a student perseveres and continues with their modules, continues with their online class, or drop out of school, comes down to whether they have that strong, positive support system that eggs them on. In our next episode, we'll follow one of our Fair Play Scholars, Jean, as she tells us the difference support has made as she made her way to a university varsity scholarship from a difficult life in Payatas, now navigating through college life in the middle of a pandemic. Ako si Regine.